Hi guys and welcome to Wrong Way and today I'm gonna tell you about my thoughts on the newest electric unicycle on the market the Emotion V11. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. Today, as I'm recording this video, the Inmotion V11 has been released. And I gotta tell you, I was actually very excited uh, for this wheel and a lot of my friends, a lot of electric unicycle enthusiasts were very excited as well, especially after the teasers that were shown on Inmotion's social media pages. The presentation was streamed live on YouTube and I gotta say, it was a very, very enjoyable experience. It was really nice to see people uh, that I know in the chat, Monsieur Flex, uh, Davastato, uh, Kuji Rolls was there, uh, the Electric Unicycle uh, Collective, Jan Svoboda as well. I, I mean, a lot of people that I like. So shout out to all of you that have been in the chat while the presentation was happening. And the presentation was led by Charles, who is the CEO of Inmotion. It was his first presentation in English. So you can tell this was a really big deal. And while the presentation itself wasn't like very high quality or the sound had a little bit of echo I actually really really enjoyed it so <laughs> the presentation actually started with the emotion L9 and everybody <laughs> was very excited about it I mean um, I think everybody forgot about the scooter pretty much that is it is the launch event of the scooter and the Emotion uh, V11. So yeah, <laughs> here's just the highlights of the comments that were happening in real, real time when they were talking about the scooter. I mean, the scooter is fine. Scooters are okay, but you know, the, the electric unicycle community is a community that is also like very specialized, specialized and very enthusiastic about the, the products and their specs and so on. So everybody was pretty much waiting uh, for the launch of the V11. So then they were like inspired a bit by Apple and here I also have like uh, all the notes written down from this presentation and they said there's one more thing like okay we knew there's one more thing so i will tell you like step by step about all the things uh, that were mentioned in the presentation and after that i will also tell you about the things that were not mentioned in uh, this uh, product launch. Uh, first, uh, they were talking about the tire. The Emotion V11 will be a 18 inch uh, electric unicycle like the Gotway MSP, maybe with a shallower tire, bigger tire, I don't know, but all in all in the class of the Kingsong 18 XL or the Gotway MSP, MSX, whatever it is. And it will be a three inch wide tire. So this is really nice. Um, yeah, this is basically in motion uh, just trying to catch up to Galway. The, the tire was actually pretty interesting. Like when it comes to the thread, um, I would consider it like semi street, semi off-road. Um, uh, I'm not sure if it's the final version. It looked very interesting, but I don't know it would be like really good for use uh, on the streets. And th the thing is that throughout the pr presentation, we didn't see this electric unicycle rolling anywhere with a rider. So yeah, it was just rendered. So you can't really tell how it will behave like off-road and on-road, but of course this is all to come. Um, so this is good. Uh, there wasn't any like talking about tubeless tire or tube tire, but I guess we'll find out about it. Anyways, and then they talked a bit about the pedals. Uh, they look very similar to the new V8F pedals. Maybe they're a bit bigger with sandpaper. I think they also have this, they have these uh, rubber inserts. So that's pretty nice. I think the angle of these pedals is pretty flat. What, what you would like expect from in motion, uh, it will be not a steep angle like on the MSP. And throughout the presentation, they were talking about this wheel being especially for professionals. So I will also judge this wheel like it would be for a professional. I mean, I ride a lot. I have a Galway Nikola unicycle, 84 volt. I usually ride like up to 50 something kilometers an hour. Uh, I have 5,700 kilometers on it. So yeah, I like riding and because we have also a lot of electric unicycles on the channel, I think I can get an idea um, how this V11 in terms of like specs they were, were mentioning in this presentation would stack up against other electric unicycles that are already on the market. 
So moving on, then they were talking about the motor and um, I didn't get like all the details because at first they were saying it's 50% more powerful than the V10F, the V10F being at 2000 watts nominal power and uh, so the Emotion V11 should have 3000 watts nominal power. Now. 3000 watts nominal power would be like insane. I mean, the Gotway MSP has two, 2500 and it's already like ridiculous and 3000 watts nominal power would be like amazing. I mean, truly, truly, truly amazing. But they were also saying it's 3000 watts max power. And yeah, this, this just leaves me um, thinking, is this 3000 watts nominal power? Is this 3000 watts like, what is it? <laughs> because if it's max power, it's like very lame because uh, the Emotion V10 has around like 3,500 3, or 4,000 watts uh, peak power, like max power. The Gotway MSP has around like 5,000 watts. I, I don't really know, but the Gotway MSP is like really powerful. If it's less powerful, then they just they catch up to the competition. Then they were talking a bit about the cooling system, so improved cooling, whatever, pretty cool. Afterwards, they mentioned uh, the immense hill climbing possibilities of 35 degrees. Now, you know that on my channel, I stress test uh, all the vehicles that are here and 35 degrees I can do on my one-year-old Gotway Nikola. It's barely doing it because the, the foot plates start to tilt like it's overpowered, but it can do it. I tested it. And the Gotway MSP can do 40 degrees. I saw a Gotway Tesla do 45 degrees. Uh, so yeah, 35 degrees, even it seems a lot for emotion, it doesn't seem a lot in when you look at the competition. Now, maybe it's understated, I don't know, because mostly people overstate it, but uh, yeah, 35 degrees, cool, but not amazing. So moving on, 50 kilometer top speed. Okay, y you said it was for pros? <laughs> well, the thing is, there, are, uh, there is like all the companies and there's Galway, <laughs> because King Song can go 48 kilometers an hour or like up to 50, which is cool, uh, now the Emotion V11 will go 50, but then you will have uh, Gotways which can go 60, 70 kilometers an hour, so they are way faster. Now they're more dangerous if you do this at like low battery percentages, but there are lots of people that do uh, ride 60 kilometers like on a day-to-day -day basis. I ride on my 84 volt Nikola in day-to-day -day basis like 50 to 55 kilometers an hour. So this is like nothing really special, but I'm really glad that they um, made it ride 50 kilometers an hour. So it's good, but not an amazing. <laughs> Again, uh, moving on, uh, they were talking uh, actually like for three minutes, they were talking about uh, the um, headlights and they were just talking eight seconds about the top speed but anyways uh, they were talking uh, about the front headlight and that it is awesome it looks actually really good it looks like from a motorcycle uh, and it also has a lens so yeah it looks really promising they stacked it up against their own unicycles and i gotta say uh, it looks amazing <laughs> when you compare it to the v8 and the v5f and the v10 because these lights aren't really good <laughs> in comparison to other unicycles like yeah the, the v8 has a poor light the v10f has like uh, <laughs> they're not really good lights in my opinion like in compared to king song 16x or the newer Gotway models. And they were saying the V11 has a whopping 7,800 lux of uh, brightness. So yeah, seems really good, seems really legit. There's also like a ring, a daytime running light. So it looks really cool. Um, they, then they compared it to three other unicycles, uh, the Nikola with a C, which is spelled wrong. Uh, that has 1,700, no, 1,700 lux. I'm not sure if it's like the right number because uh, when you start riding with the Nikola, it gets brighter. And it's in my testing, it was really comparable to the 16X. So I don't know. Okay, but still, 1,700 for Nikola, 4,500 looks in the 16X, and pretty much double that in the V11. Now, 
the, the wheel that is not in the equation is the Galway MSP, which was just released and it has a such a good light. You can check out the review on Ustride. Um, the, wheel, the, the light is amazing and it's really sad that they did not include it here. Maybe a sign that it is not uh, as amazing compared to the Galway MSP. A couple more things about the light. It has a lens, so it should behave in a way to not blind all the pedestrians or other cyclists on the road, so uh, this should be fine. So after that, they talked about the uh, automotive uh, grade tail light. Really cool, actually, like nice shape and whatever, really well visible, so this is a cool thing. Afterwards, they started talking about the trolley handle and um, it's a cool design, I gotta say. It still has a lift sensor and it, it's still easy to lift. It has like a small uh, grab handle and a lift switch, um, basically a standard in, in motion unicycles. So what, that's basically what you'd expect. And it has a lift up trolley handle with a pretty cool design. It's better integrated than the V10F. So this is also a really nice addition. On to the not so good stuff. The battery is um, 1420 watt hours big. It's not so big really. Yeah, <laughs> I heard of mods of the Gotway Tesla that have 1480 watt hours of capacity. Um, yeah, it's just not a big battery, I, I gotta say. Every other 18 inch unicycle in the biggest version has a lot bigger battery. The um, MS Pro, 400 watt hours more. The battery is not really big, but it has uh, a separated system with like, I think two BMS. It's really similar to the uh, Ninebot Z10 in that regard. So even if like one uh, battery bank fails, then the other one still works. And this was also their focus uh, throughout the presentation to have like uh, a really safe unicycle. But still, uh, battery, small, I mean, small compared to the competition right now. So then they talked about the charge time, which is five hours, really good. That's a really good result. I think with, with two chargers, so that is as fast as the Gauntway MSP with a standard charger. They were also talking about uh, the padding on the side and it was really huge. Actually, the whole unicycle side was a huge pad. It seemed comfy, like all in all, this unicycle seems very comfy. They were talking about the extremely innovative uh, stand <laughs> and oh man it's just the wire <laughs> i mean it's just the wire it looks bad the, the the whole unicycle looks modern and cool and then they added a wire and it's not the first unicycle that has a stand the Ninebot Z10, if you attach the uh, trolley handle to it, it can stand on its own. The Rockwheel GT16 can stand on its side. So um, the Galway MSP uh, can also stand on the pedals because they don't, don't lift up so much so easily. So yeah, then we saw a bit of the design. So the, the, these were just renders, nothing in real life, just renders. And it looks actually really cool. I see the, there are some inspirations of the Ninebot Z10. Later you can see how um, the unicycle actually changes its design when somebody is standing on it because it's suspension. The pièce de résistance pretty much at the end of the presentation was uh, the suspension system and there is 70 uh, millimeters of travel which I mean it's a lot for a unicycle because no unicycle has it uh, at this time of uh, recording this video I mean except for the Russian thing that was once on the internet and disappeared forever. Uh, but yeah, this might be like the most, and is probably the most interesting part uh, of the electric unicycle. And I'm really sad that there were no videos of the suspension system in action because everybody is excited for it. Everyone wants to see how it works, but there is nothing pretty much that showed its performance in real life. And the question is like, how will, how will it work? Will it have like pedal dipping? Will it have, uh, I don't know, sudden vibrations? Will it wear out? And all of these things were not mentioned while um, talking about the suspension. But still, very exciting and this might be just the selling point of the Emotion V11. And the last point of this, of this presentation were, uh, was the price. $2,300. Whew, that's a lot. Uh, having the Galway MSP at $1,850 
having other unicycles with way bigger batteries, cheaper than that. Um, yeah, it will have to be an amazing um, unicycle to ride to justify this price because this is not cheap. Uh, next thing that wasn't mentioned, and I was pretty actually surprised by that, um, what's, what about the speakers? <laughs> What, what kind of speakers does it have? Like, does it have a subwoofer, two speakers, stereo, mono? No mention of that. And I did not see actually any RGB lighting on the side either. So yeah, these are basically my thoughts on the product launch of the Inmotion V11. The suspension is really exciting and like to ride it, I'm very excited to see it ride. But uh, on the other side, the, the specs and the performance and the like pro aspect of it, uh, just does not come to today's standards that are set, like the performance standards that are set by Galway. And it, this is just a fact. I, I, I am not overstating anything. If something can go 65, it's faster. So if something can go steeper, then it just can go steeper. Um, so yeah, but I think the look is really cool, really like the lighting, front rear lighting. Uh, but I'm also really curious about what you think about this unicycle. Will it be a game ch changer? Will you buy it? Are you excited for it or are you like, ah, uh, meh, <laughs> not uh, so excited anymore. I'm really curious about uh, hearing your opinions. Comment below, like the video if you're still here. Also subscribe to the channel. Um, huge thanks to my Patreons, uh, Bosman Addy and GX. And, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. <laughs>